friends in this video we are going to explain about the lego gear mechanism in this video you can see that there are so many gears present in front of you like this is a 40 tooth gear this is an 8 tooth gear and i'm going to explain the gear mechanism with the help of a 24 tooth gear now what happens is this is the handle this is the 24 tooth gear and this is the indicator which is actually telling that in which direction the gear is moving there are two directions clockwise and anti-clockwise so what happens is when i move the gear when i move the handle in clockwise direction the two gears will match with each other their teeth will match with each other and if one gear is moving anti-clockwise as you can see with the help of the indicator the other gear will move clockwise see like this it happens now both the gears are of same size therefore their gear ratio is 1 is to 1 which means that if in one rotation they are moving one time then the other gear will also move one time thank you so till now we have seen uh, we use two gears of the same size now in this case i have changed the one gear size now before going further first of all i should explain that there is a small gear and the big gear what happens is that when you move the handle you can see as before the when the gear the smaller gear moves the bigger gear moves slowly and if i move it once then you can see it will cover half of the round from the indicator you can see if i move the handle once one round complete 360 degree then the gear completes half of the round so what happens is this is a 24 tooth gear and this is a 8 tooth gear so one third of the round will be covered with 8 is to 24 is 1 is to 3 so 1 is to 3 is the gear ratio according to the size and hence one one round completion will give one third round of the bigger gear so this is happening now we are going to see a small change here as before there is no two gears of the same size as you can see now we are using a smaller gear of 8 tooth here this is a 8 tooth gear and this is the same as before that is 24 tooth gear now what is happening there is a change in speed of the gear as well as the rotation see if i rotate the handle one time 360 degree then you can see the direction of the indicator that in which direction the gear is moving if i move the handle one time then the gear is moving one third of its complete 360 degree round because we have used here a small gear which is actually decreasing the speed of the gear which is of its small size and because it is 8 tooth and it is 24 tooth so 8 is to 24 is 1 is to 3 hence the gear ratio is 1 is to 3 